That was when your partner's um, seated. This one will be more common when your partner's on their back and their feet are up. It's still somewhat hard sometimes to get around Kent's legs, especially if he can touch me with his feet. Like I can't get around him because he keeps hooking his feet on me, sticking them in me. And I'm like, even if I push, he'll step over and get his guard back, right? So, so if you ever encounter this, I want you to do something called taco grip. So I want to pretend Kent's foot is a tor tortilla shell. <laughs> and I want to bend it into a taco. So what I do is I take my hand right around the, the tops of his toes and I hold, the to I hold his toes. Your partner will go, ow. They might tap to this. I'm squeezing his toes together. This one, taco grip on this foot. What I want you to do now, don't be like, mm, I'm strong. Because my arms are not stronger than Kent's legs. I'll tell you that right now, they're not. What you think about doing is loose, loose arms. <laughs> Noodle arms. He can have tense legs like if he wants, but my arms are like loose. Get your uh, feet back. I'm at the end of the lever. And there's gonna be a moment where Kent makes such a big movement, keep on trying. Where I end up beyond his knee, right? I end up fully 180 facing his head just by holding his feet, right? Do don't be rigid. Be like noodle arm. My hand is still gripping. If you want to be really mean, there's reverse taco grip where I grip the underside. <laughs> so what I sometimes will do is I'll grab underside this side and top this side and I'll cross his feet. <laughs> Get your feet back. <laughs> right? So get with your partner. 